how to test your TikTok tag and check if your events work as expected, how to see if uh, tag events are sent correctly and if API events are sent correctly, how to uh, visualize the parameters you have with your events. And um, basically I will explain all these. I will show you um, how to do it in two ways, uh, using a Chrome extension and using a native testing tool from TikTok. And I will also discuss a few common warnings uh, when they are a false positive and you can easily ignore them and uh, when they are an actual problem. So uh, on my site, I have the TikTok tag installed with Pixel Your Site. So I have the tag ID right here and the um, uh, token in this field. It means that I send tag events and API events. If you use a different tool, the testing works more or less the same. On this channel, I have another video showing you how to get the tag ID and how to generate an access token so you can enable uh, TikTok tag events and TikTok API events. Watch the other video as well. Uh, but let's start by installing this uh, Chrome add-on, TikTok Pixel Helper. Search for uh, the add-on on Google. Install. Well, I already have it installed. So let's remove it from now. And now I can add the Chrome add-on, add extension. This is the add-on. Pin it here so you can easily find it. And now simply browse your website, refresh a page, perform some uh, actions that are supposed to trigger events, and you will see the events here in the add-on. So a page view event, which is supposed to fire on every um, page of the website and the view content event. This event is um, related to products. So this is a single product page. I have a view content um, event and has very important parameters, content type with value product, telling a TikTok that this is a product and uh, ID, content ID. When TikTok, uh, understands that this event is related to a product because of this parameter, uh, they will um, match the content ID to a product in the product catalog you have on TikTok. And this is how dynamic ads work on TikTok. So that's uh, why you need to have such parameters for events related to e-commerce or WooCommerce products if you use WooCommerce. So if I add to cart, I will fire a an add to cart event and so on. But another way to visualize this, this data is to use the TikTok native testing tool. Go to tools, events, open the tag installed on your website. I have multiple tags in my account. Go to test events. And here you can get this code, test code and add the code in this dedicated field. Save. And now the API events will be uh, detected by the testing tool and displayed in uh, on that page. In order to start testing your website, you need to add a URL here and generate a QR code. And this helps if you want to see, and now use your phone to open the, the page. So now I have a, a, on my phone open the page that URL that I added in the testing tool with some parameters. And those parameters allow me to see browser events. So only uh, URLs with that parameter will uh, trigger browser events that are visible in this testing tool. The other events fire, the other browser events fire on other pages are not visible. So this makes uh, a bit complicated to, to test browser events with this tool because once I navigate away from this page, and I will do this, uh, I will not see uh, the parameter, the, the browser events in this, on this um, page. So uh, in order to see the browser events, it's best to use 
the add-on like this okay so let me let me make a purchase on on my phone so we can have all the events here stay with me it will be relatively quick i just have to place an order and then we will have all the events fired automatically by pixel your site tracking uh, product views add to cart initiate initiate checkout and a uh, complete order and payment received now you can see them again you don't see all the um, browser events here because i navigated away from the page that had that uh, parameter that allows me to visualize browser events here um, but server events are visible because i send uh, that test server uh, that test code with all the server events uh, for as long as uh, we i have it in in the plugin in this field so now these are my events you can click on it on each of them and see what type of uh, parameters they have for example i have content type product because it's a product i have uh, um, value currency and all sorts of other other uh, things uh, visible right here so it's re relatively easy to 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 see the data now chances are that you will see some warnings for example missing evade id for browser uh, this is definitely a false positive because if you use pixel your site because all our all our events have the event id we always always send the event id for browser and api events you can just dismiss it other warnings that you might see refer to i don't have them here but you might see warnings about uh, wrong content type or missing content type uh, that's because let me show you this is the overview page uh, for example this click button event fires every time a click happens on your website is not related to products so it doesn't have it doesn't have a content type product or product group because it's not an event related to products so again if you see a warning about missing content type product or product group uh, chances are that the warning uh, is related to events that are not supposed to have that parameter so again ignore them only events like view content add to cart initiate checkout uh, complete payment and place an order need that uh, sort of parameter you might see warnings about missing value again we have value with events related to products or transaction for example place an order uh, let me move my camera so you can see this page this section this part of the page uh, again as you can see we have value 100 percent so every event uh, place an order event has value because uh, this event tracks transactions so it has value but click button doesn't have value because again it's an event that tracks clicks so there is no value to add to such an event so uh, if you see warnings try to understand why you see them and if they are really really a problem or just a false positive um, those that i mentioned are the most common false positives you might see others the idea is with pixel your site we usually send all the required data so we have event id we have value when this is required we have content type product or product group when is required so if you see warnings about them they're simply false positive simply ignore them don't worry uh that's about it that's how you can test your uh, tiktok tag and api events uh, one more thing maybe it's useful we also have a logs page again let me move the camera back and uh, from here you can enable meta api logs and visualize uh, facebook api events TikTok API logs and visualize TikTok API events or Pinterest API logs and visualize 
of course, Pinterest API events. So if you want to see exactly what API event we send, enable logs, save, keep it like this for an hour or so, and then you'll see all sorts of data in this. Let me just show you. Uh, once you are done, disable logs because otherwise um, the file will get really, really big. Let me refresh the page. I just want to fire some events so you can see how the data looks. Uh, so uh, clear, uh, clear the logs once you're done testing and disable logging because otherwise the logs will be huge and uh, will create problems on your server. Let me see, let me check if I have some events. I do. This is the, the data with all the details about the events sent by the plugin using API. So I disable and I save. That's it. That's how you can uh, confirm that um, TikTok tag events work and how you check what data they send and if the API events work as expected. I'm Christian Stoichescu from Pixar Your Site. Thank you for watching. Uh, like, share and subscribe to our channel.